We're going to be talking about a few things today. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've learned since we've moved out here from suburbia. If anybody's followed our story, we actually aren't farming people. Morning everyone, Danny here from the Young Family Homestead. Another beautiful day, a little bit windy, but that's all right. We're gonna be talking about a few things today. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what I've learned since we've moved out here from suburbia. If anybody's followed our story, we actually aren't farming people. We're, we're trying, we're trying to be. We're learning as we go. I'm also gonna be checking the fences because while I was mowing the other day, I had to pull a tree off fence line and the electric fencing was grounding it. It was a whole thing anyway. Let's start walking and we'll talk about it as we go. One of the first things that I wanted to talk about since I've, since we've been out here, one is we don't eat as much takeout out here. It's not really readily available. I like home cooked meals better anyway. Beautiful lorikeets up in the tree. They're always noisy when you're trying to film too. This fence is good. We, we've sort of been, I guess, obligated into eating healthier, um, eating more home cooked meals. As to opposed to when we were in Griffin, there we, uh, yeah, we had, man, there was like food like McDonald's, KFC, Hungry Jack's, uh, all the all the restaurants you can think of. Like Griffin is not far from North Lakes and then North Lakes has got, I don't even know, hundreds of food places. You know, it also encourages lazy habits of not preparing your own meals and not being a little bit more prepared and I mean, being out here, we, we've really learnt to be more efficient in our food usage. We eat healthier out here. Well, that's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, we don't we don't eat takeout very often. If yeah, probably uh, yeah. Okay, so we still eat you know processed sausages, and all that sort of stuff. But I mean, yeah, when it comes to takeout, like McDonald's and KFC, Hungry Jacks, and all those, yeah, that's not a we don't, we don't even, I can't even remember last time I had any of those sort of foods. So with that pro, I guess, of eating healthier, I've got to give a con. The conveniences aren't really there. I remember being at Griffin, if we needed to go to the chemist, there was no dramas, right? So you could go to the chemist at pretty much any time of the night and you could drive down the road and something's going to be open. A, a servo or like a chemist or a food place if you're hungry. Out here, like... Yeah, it's not it's not common to have something open late at night. Like most shops close at the very latest, like ten o'clock. Most most places though are closed at six or around then. So it's not as convenient, I guess. That's one one downside. But if you call it that, you just learn to deal with it and learn to plan your day better. I wrote another one down here. Oh yeah, that was one of the other ones. Down in Griffin there, you know, Bunnings, you got about three different Bunnings stores you can go to. Heaps of different hardware stores, clothes shops, and all that sort of stuff. You're um, pretty, pretty limited on that sort of stuff out here. You do have, like there are hardware stores and clothes stores, but you know, with if there's more hardware and more clothes stores, that drives the prices down for competition. So for the actual consumer, it works out better having more options to choose from because you go to the best best price right there's a home timber and hardware store but it's pretty much the only one there so you're pretty much obligated unless you want to go for a longer drive you you buy from there and you just pay what it whatever it is so but they are pretty decent priced i'm not i'm not having a crack at them they are um you know they've got everything you need and at a reasonable price so another pro about living this sort of lifestyle out here and you learn to manage your time pretty well yeah you're obligated into having to manage your time well because there's only so much time in a day and for anybody that lives on any kind of acreage one thing i've learned is that grass needs to be mowed and you know that the rubbish needs to be disposed of or burnt or you know the chickens need to be moved or cared for or cleaned or i've always sort of not really taken into consideration, but more more so now, 
being out here, I think you're obligated into managing your time properly. Like seeing friends and seeing family and all that, that's that's into our schedule. We have to fit that into our schedule, right? Because we're an hour away from everyone. It's, it's two hours round trip. We have to fit seeing friends and family into our schedule because but if, if we go out for a day, like last weekend we went to the beach and that, that was a great family day out, but we also got nothing done around the house or anything like that uh, for that whole day. And if anybody does follow our channel, they'll know that I do FIFO work. So it's, uh, you know, I've got to get everything done in the two weeks that I'm home for the two weeks that I'm away. I can't have it all fall on Megan when I go away that she has to do everything, it's not fair. So I guess, you know, you could say that it forces you into being scheduled and, and managing time better. I, I see that as a, as a pro because you can get a lot more done if you've got everything planned. Uh, however, I'll go with a con. Uh, you know, you're also obligated into doing things that you sometimes don't really want to do. Like, for example, you know, this weekend coming, we're, we're going to go to the beach and uh, go for another four-wheel drive trip up there with the family and that, but I know that I have to get everything done here for when I'm away. So that's a, I guess that's a pro and a con, you know, like you're obligated into doing, like we've got to move the chickens. Like we have to do that. So there's no, we don't have a, there's not a, uh, there's no other way around it. You have to do it. So otherwise your chickens get sick and then you got to deal with d disease and things like that. I keep on looking away because I've got to keep on listening for ticks or grounding out along the electric fence. This stuff here is getting pretty pretty old and brittle. I'm going to replace it with a steel wire, I think. You know, a, a pro is being able to be out here and process chickens. That, you know, you could look at that two, two ways. One is you have to do it, or two, you know, you get to do it. So I think being able to process our own meat on our property and grow our own vegetables on our property is a pro in my opinion. It's definitely not a, a con, but some people might see that as an inconvenience. Being able to do that and teach our kids that sort of stuff. Yeah, not a lot of people get the opportunity to do that. I was never raised knowing where you know meat comes from or any of that sort of stuff. It's just something, a passion that I've developed over time that I think it's an important thing to teach kids that you know, the food that goes in their body is really, is really important. The food that goes into your body is what fuels your body. All the fence lines look pretty good. I had to cut a big part of this mulberry tree down because it had fallen down over the fence line. Yeah. And I had to cut those branches off there and it all fallen down over here and pushed this whole section down. And they're just a few things I guess that I've learnt since I've been out here. I'm sure I'm going to learn heaps more. Front paddock's fine. I think soon we, uh, Megan and I are going to do a live stream. Doing a bit of research on live streams and I think I'm going to give it a crack. Yeah, we're going to talk about a few things. I'm going to have Megan there as well. And we're going to list a few things of what we've learnt, I guess, rather than just pretty much off the top of my head. Uh, we're going to put a list together and uh, we're going to actually do some giveaways in the live stream as well so that'll be that'll be pretty cool uh, this actually this is one of the things yeah we're going to end up giving one of those little native bee hives away which would be pretty cool and we're going to be giving away some seeds as well so i think in our first live stream or yeah i think in our first live stream i think i've got a plan there to give away uh, three packets of seeds and uh, once we reach a thousand subscribers I think that's what we when we're gonna give the big beehive away so I'm looking forward to that and uh, yeah I'm glad you could join me on the walk around the paddock it's always nice to walk around the paddock when we do our live stream I think I'm gonna write some bullet points down and and so that way it's just a little bit more organized and we can talk about it and have a Q&A session afterwards and stuff like that so anyhow I'm Danny, this is the Young Family Homestead, thanks for joining us. If you've liked the content, give us a thumbs up, 
Uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss us when we go live on the live stream here soon or any of the new content that we're releasing every week. And until the next one, we'll see you then. Bye.